challenge if you're going to use a drug, for example, and have a trial of a drug that targets amyloid, it doesn't make sense to use it on someone who has mild cognitive impairment that has nothing to do with, the, with amyloid and has something to do with something else. And of course, that's been documented well over the years where there was, it was clear that these drugs had failed worse in the ones without amyloid than they failed less in the ones with amyloid. The uh, Alzheimer drugs have failed, over 400 clinical trials have failed. Uh, it was just reported recently that um, there's been over 40, uh, one, over $40 billion devoted to drug development and clinical trials for Alzheimer's without any real success. That's horrendous. And so again, uh, we suggest let's look at this differently. Let's go upstream and look at what's actually causing the problem. When you're developing a drug, you'd like to know why you're developing that drug. And if you're not, if you're not targeting what's actually the underlying driver of the process, maybe the drug is being mistargeted. Uh, and I do think in the long run, what's going to be exciting is to combine looking at the upstream drivers and these larger databases that we talked about earlier with targeted pharmaceuticals. Then I think you know, you're asking the right question. Can we now target a few of the things, but also have a protocol that deals with all the other things instead of just assuming that you're going to have success with a complex chronic illness by targeting a single variable that simply has not worked very well so far.